One teacher in the Gulfport School District has been hard at work for years with the goal to preserve what's left at a historic cemetery here on the coast. As Brandi McGill reports, this is all ahead of the annual cemetery tour that highlights the unique history. 1855 to Do you believe it's that old? Pass Road and Central Elementary gifted students are traveling back in time. The, last, the oldest one I've seen is 1841, I think. Right in their backyard at the historic Mississippi City Cemetery in Gulfport. Um, we reached out several years ago to the Historical Society of Gulfport um, and asked them about the cemetery. Uh, it's located right behind our school here at Pass Road, and that was really the start of this um, working together. As Melanie Davis's fourth and fifth grade students grew hungry to learn more about historic grave sites and how to preserve them, she then partnered with the University of Southern Mississippi's Anthropology Department in Hattiesburg. Uh, we've talked a little bit as I've kind of circulated around about the different stones and the different decorations here. And as an anthropologist, it's been my experience to come into a cemetery and you always leave with new questions, new interesting things to look in. And I'm seeing that exact same thing in the students. I actually have a special chemical that I don't even understand myself. Before heading to the cemetery, students discuss the importance of respecting the deceased and their loved ones. They also learned about materials used specifically for cleaning the headstones there, like D2. And what will happen is if you clean marble, you're going to take away all that, see that kind of black accumulation. Gravestones have indented letters, so we're scraping off the letters to see his full name and like when he was born and when he died and everything. Historical Society of Gulfport President Betty Shaw says it's been a big community effort to keep the cemetery up and the history alive. It's taken a lot of, of uh, cooperation from a lot of people, a lot of schools, a lot of communities. It's been a great project and many people don't know it, but this part, Mississippi City, was a city long before Gulfport. It was, uh, it, it was uh, of course, an annex in the 60s as a part of Gulfport, but it predates the uh, founding of that city. In Gulfport, Brandy McGill, WLOX News Now.